Hi everyone, welcome to another video from eLearning Portal. In today's video, I will show you how to reward learners for their achievements on Moodle, whether it's completing a course or just completing an activity. Administrators or teachers can set up badges which can be rewarded to students site-wide or in a specific course. Badges are a good way to reward learners for achievements and introduce gamification to your learning. Badges can also be an effective way to motivate and engage students as they progress through a Moodle module. So let me show you how this is done. So here we are in our algebra course and here we have four modules within our course. By clicking on the various modules, you'll see all the activities within the course. Okay, so what we are going to do is we are going to set up a badge for this course. Okay, and when the learners complete certain activities within the course, they will obtain a badge. Okay, so first things first, let's turn editing on. Now, in your left pane, you'll see under your course name, the second menu item is Badges. Click on it. And now you'll see we don't have any badges available yet. If we click on Manage Badges, it will tell us that there are no badges available. So let's click on Add New Badge. Now we need to provide a badge name. So this, the first badge we'll use as to actually just solve algebraic equations. So this will be the name of our first badge. We, are, we can set a version of this badge, but let's leave it blank for this. Let's choose a language here and we'll leave it on English. Now we can choose a description of this badge. So let me just copy for the sake of this video. Copy and paste the name of the badge here. And now we can choose an image. So let's choose a file and then choose a file again and select my first badge. And this is solve uh, linear equations. Okay. Click on open and then upload file. So that's uploaded. I can add an author's name, uh, author's email, URL or an image caption. Let's leave it uh, blank for now. The badge expiry date, uh, we'll leave it on never. And let's click on create badge. So now our badge is created. Okay. So now we need to set criteria. Uh, how will the learners um, receive or uh, obtain this badge? Okay. By clicking on add badge criteria, the drop down menu and then choosing activity completion. You'll see here's a list of things you can um, award or reward learners with the badge for these different criteria. Let's choose activity completion. And now we need to select the various activities. Remember within our algebra course, there are various activities within each uh, section or each module. Okay. Uh, so this is uh, all the activities within that specific course. And I'll click on if they complete the, gl uh, the glossary activity, uh, they can obtain that badge. This is only for uh, this uh, demonstration purposes. Now click on uh, this criteria is complete when. So now you need to select when this complete uh, criteria that you've selected, let's say you've selected more than one. Uh, if you want to uh, allow the selected activities, when all the selected activities are completed, you can check this box or any of the selected activities are completed. Um, since we only selected one activity, so let's leave it on uh, any of the selected activities is complete. Okay. We can provide a description here and here you can congratulate the learners. Okay. Uh, by stating anything in the line of well done or congratulations or you have obtained a badge. Okay. So let's click on save. 
Okay, so now my criteria is set, and there's my message. Well done. You have obtained a badge, okay, for the arithmetic to uh, algebra glossary. Okay, now when all this is set, you click on Enable Access. Click on Continue. This will unlock that badge. Okay. So now you'll see under Recipients, there are no recipients that uh, obtain this badge. Okay. So now let me log out and let me log back in with a learner's account or a student account. So I'll type in Andy. And his password and I click on login. Okay, so I'll go straight to the algebra course. Okay, so I'm in my first module. And now I click on arithmetic um, glossary. And yes, my glossary. Okay, so now you'll see that it's done. Okay, so let's go back to my course. Now you'll see here uh, in my latest badges, you'll see um, Andy just obtained this badge. And when he clicks on badges, you'll see that there's his badge he obtained now. And it was awarded to him. And it says here, yeah, well done, you have obtained a badge. And this is for the glossary. Okay, so now from a... If we click on the bell icon or the notification icon, you'll see there, congratulations, yeah, you just earned a badge. And you can click on it and you'll see there, you have been awarded the badge Solve Algebraic Equations. Okay, If he clicks on the link here, he'll be taken to the badge and to the description, his name, uh, the issuer's name, and all the details that we've set up. Now we can download the badge and it will download straight to his computer. You can click to open it and you'll see there's the badge that he just obtained. Okay, so now from an administrator's perspective or a teacher's perspective, let's look at it. Okay, so let's look at it from an administrator or a teacher's perspective. Let's go into the course. And now within the course, let's click on Badges. Here you'll see the badge that we've created. Now if we click on Manage Badges, you'll see here there's recipients, there's one. If we click on the one there, you'll see there Handicap uh, received a badge and we can view Issued Badge. And here you'll see we'll... Um, the details of the badge will be visible um, from uh, an administrator's perspective. Remember, this is the course badge. We can also set up a site-wide badge for learners to obtain. So let's say the administrator wants to set up a badge where learners complete their profile. Let me show you how this is done. By clicking on Site Administration, and then scrolling down under Badges and click on Manage Badges. Remember, we don't have a site badge yet. We only have a course badge. Okay, so click on Add New Badge. Then the same as we did before, provide a name. And this is for profile completion. We leave a uh, version uh, blank. And then under description, we can copy and paste this. Remember, you can provide a description. Let's choose an image. And upload the image. We leave this blank for the sake of this demonstration. And let's cl click on Create Badge. Once that is done, we need to select the criteria. And you'll see there are different criteria from uh, when we selected it from the course level. Okay, so here you can have completing a set of courses, 
um, profile completion, cohort membership, or competencies. Okay, we'll choose profile completion. We want learners to actually upload a uh, picture of themselves, um, which will then trigger that badge, and they will be awarded the badge once they upload the uh, a picture of themselves. Okay, let's go to the criteria. We we'll leave it on any of the selected because we've only selected one, but you can choose any um, as you wish. Okay. Description. Well done. Your profile is complete. Okay. Let's click on save. Okay, so there it's set up. Let's click on Enable Access, click on Continue, and now that is set up, okay? So let's go, let's allow Andy to log in. So now, let's close this, and he can go into his profile. He can edit his profile, and now under the new picture, he can upload an image of Andy. So let's go and search for an image of Andy. Um, let's go to Andy, and let's just look for images of Andy. So let's say this is Andy here, okay, so let's click on that and just download it. Okay, we'll put it on our desktop, save. Okay, so there's the image. Let's go back and just drag the image. Okay, so there's Andy and just click on update profile. So there it's updated and immediately you'll see a profile completion badge under Andy's profile. Okay. So now when he clicks on the profile completion, he'll see there the details of the badge that he just obtained by completing his profile. Well done. Your profile is complete. He can download the badge. And you can open it from his computer and you'll see the profile 100% completion. And this is how easy it is to set up um, either a site-wide badge or a course badge. And you'll see and you will receive a notification as well as an email of uh, the badge he obtained. By clicking on the message, you'll see you have been awarded the badge profile completion more information about this and you can click on the profile completion and you'll be taken straight to the summary of the badge and you can download the badge. Now important to remember before you set up any badges within your courses you need to have certain settings uh, set up beforehand. Okay so let's log out as Andy and log back in as our administrator Under Site Administration and Advanced Features, make sure that Enable Completion Tracking is set to Yes. This is very important since this will allow us to set the activity as complete when certain conditions are met. If this is done, go back to your course. Where you want to add the badges. So let's say you want to choose certain activities to be completed when certain conditions are met. Okay. Turn editing on. Let's scroll here to this activity here. Let's say algebraic expressions. Click on edit. Edit settings. And this will happen when you set up the activity. Under activity completion, make sure that 
You set it up, show activity as complete when conditions are met and make sure you select certain conditions. You can also have a passing grade to activate the badge. Okay, so make sure that all your settings are correct before you start issuing badges or set up badges. I hope this video was useful. Please like and subscribe and also hit the bell icon for further videos on my channel.